Good morning. I am Shamini Samarakon from Department of Physiotherapy, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences, University of Peradun, Sri Lanka. I am here to present my case study on the management of arm pain with swelling. The patient was presented with diffused arm pain in medial lateral aspect of the left side arm and arm swelling in left side compared to the right side and uh, numbness in the fingers. Uh, the patient, the similar symptoms can also be observed in the condition such as cervical radiculopathy, thoracic outlet syndrome, other neurological conditions in cervical spinal cord, uh, lateral epicondylitis in elbow and uh, carpal tunnel syndrome in the wrist. The spe special orthopedic tests were used to differentiate the condition. Scalini cram test was positive while the other tests were negative such as Perlin test, uh, Wright test, Cosson test and Tinner sign. In Scalini cram test, patient is asked to rotate the, rotate the neck towards the affected side and pull the chin towards the uh, hollow between the clavicle, above the clavicle, uh, while the uh, flexing the cervical spine. Uh, the pain was increased and the test was positive. Sperling test was used to differentiate cervical radiculopathy, right test for thoracic outlet syndrome, Cosson test for lateral epicondylitis, and thinner sign for thoracic outlet syndrome. Uh, the, as the uh, scalini cram test was positive, the condition was diagnosed as scalini myofascial pain syndrome and the management was proceed, uh, continue, started accordingly. The scalini myofascial pain syndrome is a condition caused by formation of trigger points in any part of the scalini muscle. Initial measurements were taken on pain and tenderness by using visual analog scale, range of motion using goniometer, muscle strength using manual muscle testing, upper limb girth using measuring tape. I've taken the mentioned measurements and recorded them for each five appointments. Manual myofascial release and stretching of the scalene muscle was done as manual muscle uh, as myofascial release of the uh, scaling was completed the pain and numbness was reduced and i moved to dry needling and dry needling stretching and progressive resistance training after the treatment regime the rest pain was reduced by seven point uh, in 7 to 0 in visual analog scale and left arm swelling was completely resolved. Range of motion of the neck was improved as mentioned in the graph. Finally, the releasing of the trigger points of the scalene muscle and other treatments gave excellent outcome of this patient. Thank you.